Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today, the top 10 things you probably didn't know about mammoths. Mammoths are amongst the most iconic of beasts. The huge mammals roamed the earth for millions of years before finally slipping into the oblivion of extinction just a few thousand years ago. Now, however, scientists believe we may have the tools to bring them back from the dead. Almost perfectly preserved specimens retrieved from the icy Siberian tundra have revealed their secrets. Their entire genetic code has been cracked, and it might just be possible for a mammoth embryo to be brought to term in an Asian elephant mother. With mammoths perhaps on the brink of an unprecedented comeback, in the video today we're looking at 10 things you probably don't know about these prehistoric animals. Number 10. Mammoth remains led to an important scientific breakthrough. The first mammoth remains were dug up in 1728, more than 100 years before the discovery of dinosaurs. Charles Darwin's theory of evolution didn't yet exist, and people's understanding of the world still tended to be largely based on religious texts. As such, it was widely believed that all animals had existed in their current form unchanged since the Garden of Eden. God simply didn't make mistakes, so it seemed implausible that it allow one of his creations to disappear from the face of the earth. Increasingly frequent discoveries of mammoth remains challenged this belief. Some scientists suggested that the giant bones being unearthed must belong to African elephants. Remains that were discovered in Italy were explained away as belonging to one of the war elephants that Hannibal Barker took across the Alps in his war with ancient Rome. It was more problematic, though, to explain just what African elephants would have been doing wandering around northern Europe and Siberia. The question was eventually settled by a French scientist named Georges Cuvier in 1796. He published a paper in which he demonstrated that mammoth teeth and bones were distinct from those of existing elephants. By 1812, Cuvier had identified 49 species of extinct animals. However, it was the giant mammoths that captured the public's imagination and helped prove extinction to be a scientific fact. Number 9. Early humans killed off the mammoths Mammoths were one of evolution's success stories. Their remains have been found in every continent except South America and Australia. They walked the Earth for six million years before finally going the same way as 99.9% .9 of all other species that have ever existed. Scientific analysis has revealed that mammoth populations began to decline sharply around 12,000 years ago. This ties in neatly with the end of the last ice age and supports the idea that climate change drove the mammoths to extinction. As their habitat warmed, they were simply unable to adapt to the changes. One problem with this theory is that mammoths had survived several warm periods previously. This suggests that they might have been expected to make it through again. The difference was, this time, that they were being hunted by humans for meat and ivory. A study conducted by the University of Exeter in England found a close relationship between the extinction of large animals such as mammoths and the known patterns of human migration. This suggests that humans, rather than climate, may well have been the decisive factor in bringing about the end of the age of mammoths. Number 8. The last woolly mammoths didn't look like you'd think. Frozen throughout much of the year and located in the Arctic Ocean around 100 miles north of the Siberian mainland, the harsh environment of Wrangell Island is home to polar bears, walruses, and Arctic fox. It was also the site of the woolly mammoth's last stand. It had been believed that mammoths went extinct around 10,000 years ago. We now know that a small, isolated population of the animals survived on Wrangell Island for hundreds of generations. In 2000 BC, at a time when humans were advanced enough to be building giant pyramids and stone palaces, the last of the mammoths still walked the earth. By comparing the genetic sequence of a mammoth that lived 45,000 years ago with that of a far more modern Wrangell Island mammoth, scientists discovered that the last of the mammoths were not a picture of health. Thousands of years of interbreeding had left the animals struggling with a whole host of genetic problems. By far the most striking of these would have been a defect that caused their coats to turn a translucent white color and lose their insulating properties. The last of the mammoths would have looked very different to how we've always pictured them. Number 7. The St. Paul Island Mammoths Died a Horrible Death the woolly mammoths of Wrangell Island weren't the only ones of their kind to temporarily escape the extinction of their species. Another lonely group of a few hundred animals survived, cut off from the mainland on St. Paul Island off the coast of Alaska. No human set foot on St. Paul Island until as late as 1787, so these woolly mammoths were safe from hunters. However, while their isolation saved them for thousands of years, eventually it brought about their downfall. 
When the lakes on which the mammoths relied for fresh water began to dry up, there was nothing left to drink and nowhere left to go. It's likely that the unfortunate animals suffered a long and lingering death. By analyzing lake sediment for mammoth DNA, scientists have been able to pinpoint the date of this catastrophe with remarkable accuracy. Some 5,650 years ago, with a margin for error of just 100 years either way, the St. Paul Island mammoths were lost to the world forever. Number 6. Some mammoths weren't very mammoth at all. The name mammoth has come to be synonymous with immense size. However, there were a few species of mammoth that didn't at all live up to this stereotype. Most species of mammoths weren't a great deal bigger than an African elephant, and a few were actually considerably smaller. The most diminutive of them all once lived on the Greek island of Crete, and at just one meter tall, a fully grown adult was no bigger than a baby elephant. Even a human of average height would have towered over these tiny mammoths. Crete's extinct mammoths represent the most extreme known example of Foster's Rule, also sometimes referred to as the island effect. This is essentially where large mammals are trapped on a small island and they adapt to the restrictions on habitat and food by evolving to become smaller. Curiously enough, the exact opposite applies to smaller mammals such as rats and rabbits, which tend to adapt to island life by evolving to become considerably larger than their mainland relatives. Number 5. Woolly Mammoth Tusks Are Like Tree Trunks Sort of Woolly mammoths are perhaps the most visually striking and iconic of all mammoths. They stood more than three meters tall at the shoulder, weighed in at a hefty six tons, and were covered in a thick coat of brown hair that covered their entire body. Their tusks, which were used for foraging through snow in search of food, could grow as large as three meters long and weigh 91 kilograms. The tusk of an average African male elephant, by way of comparison, is a much more modest two meters in length. It isn't just their size that makes them remarkable. Though. A mammoth's tusks continued to grow throughout the animal's life. As they did, so they left daily growth rings, in much the same way as it's possible to determine the age of a tree by counting the rings in its trunk. Scientists can slice through woolly mammoth tusks and count the rings to determine precisely how old the creature was when it died. As the female animal tusks grew more slowly when they were pregnant, it's even possible for researchers to determine how many offspring an individual mammoth gave birth to. Number 4. The Great American Incognitum In the late 18th century, a Frenchman named Georges de Buffon was one of the most famous and influential scientists in the world. He had never set foot on American soil, but that did not prevent him publishing his theory of American degeneracy. Buffon insisted that American soil was less fertile, its people inferior, and its animals smaller, weaker, and less impressive than those found in the Old World. The Americans, understandably, were pretty outraged. Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, so much so that he had a huge bull moose shot shipped to Europe and its by now somewhat decomposed carcass delivered to Buffon's doorstep. Meanwhile, in Philadelphia, naturalists were piecing together the bones of a huge mammoth-like creature, then known as the Great American Incognitum, but now renamed the Mastodon. The recreation of the beast it wasn't perfect. For a time, it was given claws that actually belonged to a giant sloth that had been unearthed nearby. A curious misconception that the beast would have been an agile predator led to its tusks actually being attached backwards. The theory was that it would have used the tusks to skewer its prey to the ground. Despite these mistakes, the completed reconstruction of the mastodon was an imposing sight. Thomas Jefferson became entranced with the animal, even funding an expedition that he hoped would locate live specimens in remote regions of America. As he helpfully pointed out to Buffon, the giant bones of the great American incognitum made a mockery of the idea that American animals were small, weak, and inferior. Number 3. Mammoth Hunting is Becoming Big Business as the effects of climate change are felt and the Arctic permafrost begins to melt, huge numbers of woolly mammoths are being released from their icy tombs after thousands of years. The abundance of new specimens to study means that scientists now know more about the mammoths than almost any other extinct animal, but they've also attracted a new breed of mammoth hunter. It's estimated that there may be as many as 10 million mammoth carcasses waiting to be discovered in the Arctic. With just a single large tusk being worth around $35,000, there's a huge amount of money to be made. Many mammoth hunters operate illegally without a permit. However, mammoth tusks are not covered by the 1989 ban on the trade of ivory, so they can be sold legally on the open market. Some more optimistic Mystic conservationists have suggested that the increasing availability of mammoth ivory might lead to a reduction in the poaching of elephants. So far, this hasn't actually happened, and the trade of mammoth tusks is often used as a front for trafficking illegal elephant ivory. Number 2. Mammoths Could Combat Climate Change 
The melting permafrost isn't just revealing mammoths, it's also allowing huge amounts of carbon to be released from the ground into the atmosphere. This is potentially very bad news indeed. As carbon is released, the rate at which the permafrost melts will increase, which will in turn release even more carbon. This feedback loop is potentially catastrophic for the future of humanity. One of the more outlandish suggestions is that the reintroduction of woolly mammoths to Siberia could mitigate the damage and help control climate change. The blanket of snow that lies over Siberia for much of the year actually serves to trap in warmth. With mammoths trampling around and digging through the snow in search of food, the suggestion is that this would expose the permafrost to the much colder air and hopefully slow down the rate at which it is melting. For this plan to work, there would need to be hundreds or perhaps even thousands of mammoths. This represents a major stumbling block because currently we don't have any. However, a team of Harvard University scientists headed by George Church believe that they are on the brink of reviving the woolly mammoth. Number 1. Rise of the Mammoths even if Dr. George Church is successful, the animals they create won't strictly be pure mammoths. It would be more accurate to describe them as a mammoth-elephant hybrid, or perhaps mammothants. The woolly mammoth's closest living relative is the Asian rather than the African elephant. They set off on different branches of their family tree as much as six million years ago, but it's recently been discovered that their genomes are far more similar than anybody had expected. On a genetic level, the Asian elephant is 99.6% identical to a woolly mammoth. This makes them far more alike than humans are to chimpanzees, which are believed to share 96% of our DNA. This similarity has allowed Church's team to use the Asian elephant as a genetic template. Sophisticated DNA editing software allows them to copy and paste mammoth DNA in. If Church is right, then he will be able to create an animal that would almost be identical to a woolly mammoth, both in appearance and genetics, and equipped to survive the freezing Siberian winter. Church argues that his project could help combat climate change, learn more about genetic diseases, and preserve endangered Asian elephants, albeit in an unfamiliar, genetically altered state. This has failed to dispel the unease that many have expressed over the ethics of this project. So I really hope you enjoyed that video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for brand new videos every day of the week. Also I've got another channel, it's called Today I Found Out, and on that channel we have content very much like this, but we dive into one specific subject in more depth. You can check that out through the icon on the screen now. But if you're looking for something else to watch right now, why not check out another Top 10s video, or indeed a Today I Found Out video over there on the right. And as always, thank you for watching.